If you ever think of buying good quality meat at unbeatable price, think Magilac Butchers, your only suitable solution for quality meat for you and your family consumption. Our comprehensive range of meat products include minced meat, beef slices, top side, knuckle, rump steak, silver side, tenderloin, strip loin, and four quarter. We offer consistent value, quality, and service through animals grass-fed and bred, especially for their meat. This makes the meat much more tasty, succulent, tender, and easy to cook. All meats at Magilic Butchers are halal, including for the first time in the Gambia, the new Mongolian whole lamb, available only at Magilic Butchers. Rush now and visit Magilic Butchers on Caraba Avenue, opposite the Petrogas petrol station traffic lights. For inquiries and orders, please call 7688-688. That is 7688-688. Magilic Butchers, the home of quality meat and chicken products at unbeatable prices. COVID-19 leave no one behind coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe lung diseases covid 19 is the most recently discovered disease caused by coronavirus as we fight this pandemic we must be kind by supporting others covid 19 is not specific to any sex gender race nationality or skin color so let us not stigmatize or discriminate against anyone or certain groups. Fear of exclusion and discrimination may result in those who may have contracted COVID-19, including migrants, to hide their symptoms rather than seek treatment. This puts everyone at risk of getting sick. In many contexts, people who migrate to work, study, or join their families are key players in nation building, including combating COVID-19. Let us all play our role in challenging misinformation and discrimination against migrants. Be considerate of others' needs and do what you can to help. Encourage others to wash their hands frequently. Avoid touching their face, eyes, mouth and nose. Practice proper cough etiquette. Avoid public places. Practice social distancing and stay at home if they feel unwell. The Gambia is called the Smiling Coast because its people are kind. Let's show that kindness in fighting COVID-19, our common enemy. Let's fight it together. For more information, or if you experience any symptoms, dial 1025. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Hi, you're watching Kerfato. My name is Buba Gajigo. And this is your educational program. We're going to bring you primary school lessons. If you have kids at primary school level, please get them prepared. Give them a pencil and a book. I hope you will enjoy these lessons. DJ, DJ. 
Yes. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. With whatever we do, Dion is our With whatever we do, Halay the moon is cooler. Nepam ne could look cooler. Nepangi ragala gay. Nepam ne could look cooler. The bullock in no to Nibet is all. The bullock in that to Nibet. Make it go. Lamin. Let me take you a note in ten yam and lamin. Vous l'avez dit, vous l'avez dit. 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 Vous l'avez Jamani vera. Lindo ko. Eh, jamani. Bari ngoto mon contande. Eh, bari jamani vana na ramu do wa mon contande. Ngoto mina ka ngala min de fon file tala. La mi jibe no ri nyaala. La mi ti resira sama na bengi. Yalla so to sign no bo mo lokumo mo. Ngoto. Nam. Itirin te alo ne la min hakilo dia ta ba ke karamu ngoto. Anu sign ten ministry ko di ngol le si suo ko. Amake ko do holi de la. Si bitu, si bitu, si bitu, si bitu. Ba gona ni ba gona ni. Si bitu. Ala ni nyaba, ala ni ku kede na mo ba lo. Ala ni na ko so na karta bulo be da mo ala ni je. Nam, Nkoto mon contente faire faire faire. Jamo ni mune keda. Ifi ke lamin ki wulo ko no nyin tay mon ko do. Fe de malo lamin nyande sila la be la moy kala karamo. Jamo ni karamo wol be sorande ne ko fasi ta wulo ko no ko. Ah ah, karamo wol ma sorong. Ni ko karamo wol sorande ama ke kom holiday lem. Nkoto. Di ni ko nyande sila la ya la karamo la moy ya men ka ben fue. Mon contente, mon contente anda mandé. Allah nyin kombo courant anda nda la kombo le ndola jang karamo wol le sorande do. Ka ben courant ma rado la kombo. Ah. Ito ndol fanena karamuol soro nje karamuol soro lamin adara lo nyino la aman tara fena sokon ala mune kela am lamin ite foyta malon kon le sinol be ke kar radio to nga fayne nga fayne iko yi ngadi mod lamin nga fayne nga fayne ya mune fayne kabe mina kan tambita tambita nteri manyin fatu ha tambita la sokon ala dinni wol bebe siri be la moy ka ah fatu danso am fanan tambita jela nyin subara le ngaje dinni wol be jet talanta nen kili wato ebe serin jelat Lamin fana te kuki lingo keno la ba, but lamin bita ka wulo kono nyin tayi mo. Ah lamin, amanda ro fena la. Ite ite ni ne kuma ni ma si ye kari na ni si mo la mo irajo te ibalon na. Muneka ke afanya ba nyara ni dia long. 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 Afanya ba nyara ni dia long.
yaaje nata kara na mbasa mala ya itarije bar nyarande ko mo courant ho vindra ko mo ide nara yedeni sonka bay ko la min manya tala wulo ko adukara mo be sonda afane membe ko ko to wolen nati bay ho ngalle ni lamin kuntal ko mo courant ho e ka fa me ko mo courant aso total aso total wala ki ne ko e si suo ko no bar ni ko e si suo ko no be e be kara ngol di ke la radio lin telel to ani tele ma soto to nyaay man tele soto da bo ba radio be bulen ko to ba ti risa nga ay si ay ala mo sa do ko la nyaay ko la ta ro bulay ci abe ko la nyaay ka <laughs> la min nyanta kara na ndel be jiko be nyina ka ya bula e kara wulo kono ta kilar ya bambalo yo be bula je ko to dindi ngoy si ayala ayala le sino la moy radio wala ka munda kara mo man so la min nyanta kara si suwa be la si la le ayala le sino ndal ko korna ko si molo kilar ya be bin ko ko mo sa en bin ni ko no kara ndengi brose ndal ko korna la da barro sa no radio ba no bari woro radio ni abe je le bari ngam rado man ndembe buljan dal nyara nyar wofara ko fendi molo la min ta yara barro sa ra te ku folo aji be nori nyal la bi tamete ku ta <laughs> Tami bungoro tami bungoro jara me gando ko fele ko ke de barunga nani pelo la ndija iyo awe Hello viewers and listeners welcome yet again to another mass lesson for the upper basic level and as usual before we go on to today's lesson we are going to go over the assignment that I gave you the last time I gave you two questions to try. Number one was find the complements of 50 degrees, 20 degrees, 55 degrees and 45 degrees. And number two was find the supplements of 142 degrees, 105 degrees and 95 degrees. Now we start with the number one. Number one, we are looking for complements, and we know complementary angles add up to 180. Sorry, they add up to 90 degrees rather. Okay, complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So, if in A, one of the angles is 50, we assume the other angle is x because we don't know its value, and we know if we add those two angles, we should get 90 degrees. So we can simply say x plus 50. is equals to 90 degrees and from there we just undo the 50 so subtract 50 from both sides and then the 50s will cancel each other out from the left hand side so you get x as 90 minus 50 should give us 40 degrees so the complement of 50 degrees is 40 degrees you move on to the b and do the same thing This time you are given an angle of 20. The second angle is not given, so we assume it to be y. Again, they are complementary. So if you add them, you get 90 degrees. Then again, solve this by undoing the 20. So you subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. The 20s will cancel each other out from the left hand side, and therefore you have y. being equals to 90 minus 20 should give us 70 so this complement of 20 degrees is 70 degrees then let us see you are given an angle of 55 degrees the complement we don't know so we can use m to represent it Again, if we know if you add the two of them, we should get 90 as our sum. So that means m plus 55 is equal to 90 degrees. 
subtract 55 from both sides of the equation. The 55s will cancel each other out. Then you have M as 90 minus 55 should give us 35 degrees. So therefore, the supplement of 55 is 35 degrees. And then finally, D, you are given an angle of 45 degrees. The complement, we don't know, so we can use a variable to represent it. Let's say P, and again we know P plus 45 is equal to 90 degrees, okay? And if you subtract 45 from both sides, that gives you the 45s cancel each other out. P is 95, no, 90 minus 45 should give us 45 degrees. So therefore, the complement of 45 degrees is 45 degrees because 45 plus 45 is 90. Number two, we are looking for supplements from the word supplementary. And we know that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So if in the first part we are given an angle of 142 degrees and we are asked to find its supplements, which we don't know, we can use X to represent it. We know if we add the two, we should get 180. So that's simply going to give you x plus 142 is equals to 180. Then you subtract 142 from both sides of the equation. And the 142s will cancel each other out. You have x now being equal to, if you subtract 142 from 180, that should give us 38 degrees. So therefore, the supplement of 142 degrees is 38 degrees. Then the B part, you are given an angle of 105 degrees. You are asked to find its supplement, which we don't know, so we can use Y to represent it. Again, we know Y plus 105 should give us 180 because they are supplementary. You subtract 105 from both sides of the equation. And this 105 will cancel each other out. And you are left with y equals to, if you subtract 105 from 180, that should give us 75 degrees. So therefore, the supplement of 105 degrees is 75 degrees. Uh, and then finally, we go to the C, and C, you are given an angle of 95 degrees. The supplement is not given. Again, we can choose X to represent it if you want. And we know if you add the two of them, we should get 180 degrees. So that means X plus 95 is equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 95 from both sides of the equation. This 95 will cancel each other out. We have x as if you subtract 95 from 180, that should give us 85 degrees. So the supplement of 95 degrees is the angle 85 degrees. Now, that was the correction to our assignment. Then we move on to our lesson for today. And as you can see clearly on the screen, we are looking at, or we are starting from parallel lines. Okay. So parallel lines. Say parallel lines are lines that move in the same direction without ever meeting. That means they are lines that move in the same direction but they would never meet. 
The lines do not meet because they maintain the same distance apart. That is why the lines never get to meet. Because they move in the same direction, but then they maintain the same distance apart. So they can keep going on forever, but they would never meet, all right? Like if you stand at one point and your friend starts, stands a few meters away from you, if both of you maintain that distance between you and you move in the same direction, you will never get to meet, all right? So you'll be moving in parallel lines. So parallel lines are lines that move in the same direction, but they never meet. They never meet because they maintain the same distance apart. Now, of course, what you see on the screen are just examples of parallel lines you have there. Which means they can either be horizontal, they can be vertical, or they can be slanting. All right? But what is important there is that they move in the same direction and they maintain the same distance apart, so therefore they never get to meet. Like you can see the first one, the horizontal lines there, A, B, and C, D are parallel because they're moving in the same direction, but they will never get to meet. Likewise, the second one, the vertical lines, they are still moving in the same direction, that is X, W, and Y, Z, they move in the same direction, but they never get to meet, so they are also parallel. And then the, you see the other ones that are slanting, P, Q, and R, S. Those two are also parallel. Why? Because they're moving in the same direction and they're maintaining the same distance apart, so they never get to meet. So those are also parallel. You know, you cannot just see lines and assume they are parallel. <laughs> like, if I just drew lines like this, now, that alone is not enough information for you to say that these two lines are parallel. You need more information than just this. Either you have arrows to indicate that they are moving in the same direction. That indicates they are parallel. You need that. Or in the absence of these arrows, then some labeling needs to be done. If this is A is put here, B is put here, C is put here, and then C. So you have line A, B, and line C, D. Still, you need to have something like this. You read this as A, B is parallel to C, D. Right? So you must have either the arrows to indicate it or something like this. The lines are level and then you are told that A, B or whatever letters are are parallel to each other. Otherwise, you cannot assume that any lines are parallel. Then we look at what a transversal is. A transversal is a line that cuts across parallel lines. A transversal is a line that cuts across parallel lines. So whenever you have parallel lines, any line that cuts across them is called a transversal. Like you can see on the screen there you have line A, B, and C, D being parallel and then line PQ is cutting across them. So that line PQ there is a transversal. Okay? Now this is important. <coughs> Whenever a transversal cuts across two parallel lines, eight angles are formed. When a transversal cuts across two parallel lines, you will always have eight angles being formed. Now we are going to need this. Angles are formed whenever two straight lines meet. So if you look at here very carefully, this is a straight line and that is a straight line and they meet here, so therefore an angle is formed there. One. Okay? Also if you look at this is a straight line, that is another straight line and they meet here, Another angle is formed there, so we get that as 2. Likewise, if you take this straight line and this other straight line, they meet at the point, so they form another angle there. That gives you the third angle. And then, this other straight line and this straight line, they also meet, 
they form another angle, and that gives you your fourth angle. So you have four angles up there. Now when you come down here, again, you have this straight line, this straight line, they meet, they form an angle. That becomes our, okay, let's make it this way. Let's say the straight line meeting with the straight line, of course, they do form an angle here, which we call our fifth angle, okay? And then you have this straight line, also with this straight line they meet at a point here, they form another angle at that point. That's our sixth angle. And then this straight line and this straight line, they also meet, so therefore they form an angle there. And that is our seventh angle. And then this straight line and this straight line, they also meet, so they form an angle there. And that gives you our eighth angle. So clearly you can see that whenever a transversal cuts across two parallel lines, eight angles are formed. Now, let's group these eight angles. If you look at the diagram very carefully, between the two parallel lines, there are four angles there, all right? Like angle three, four, and five, six are the angles that are found between the two parallel lines. And we are going to call those angles that are found between the parallel lines as our inside angles, all right? So angle three, angle four, angle five, and angle six are our inside angles. That's important, we are going to need that later on. And then the other angles now that are not between the two parallel lines are our outside angles. So angle one, angle two, angle seven, and angle eight are outside angles. So therefore it means we have four inside angles. We also have four outside angles. The inside angles are the angles that are found between the two parallel lines, okay? That is going to be useful to us. Right. What you can see on your screen is alternate angles, okay? Alternate angles. He said, these are two inside angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal. These are two inside angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal. And what I have there is an easy way of remembering what they are. Inside, inside, opposite sides. Which means both angles are inside, but they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Now, if you go back to our diagram, you can clearly see here, if we take angle three, for example, it is an inside angle, all right? Also, if you take angle five, that is also an inside angle. But are they on the same side of the transversal? No, they are not. So therefore, we can say angle three and angle five are alternate because they are both inside and they are also not on the same side of the transversal, which means they are on opposite sides of the transversal, so they are alternate. Now, apart from three and five, can you identify any other angles that are also alternate here? two inside angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal. Now, clearly, we can see that angle four and angle six are alternate. They are both inside and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Now, that was just an illustration there, that angle three and angle five are definitely alternate. Now, there's a key important message there his alternate angles are equal in measure. Right? So alternate angles are always equal, which means whatever value is here is also going to be here. So if here is 30 degrees, for example, then here also will be 30 degrees. All right? If this angle here is 150 degrees, then this angle here is also 150 degrees. So it's important to note that angles, alternate angles are always equal. That's why we said there, angle three is equal to angle five. 
Now, if you observe carefully, the alternate angles are always formed in what looks like a Z, or a letter Z, like you like to call it. Look here very carefully. If this and this line are parallel, that's the condition that they have to be parallel, and that is your transversal, all right? This angle here and this angle here are alternate. And what does this look like? It looks like a Z, a letter Z. So alternate angles are always found in what looks like a letter Z, all right? And of course, this can be rotated anyhow, because I could have turned it this way. It is, it is going to go look like this. If this line is parallel to this line, then this angle and this angle here also will be alternate. So most times, if you can look at a letter Z in your diagram, the angles inside that letter Z will be your alternate angles. Okay. So moving along, we look at what we call corresponding angles. Now, this is when you have one inside angle and one outside angle that are on the same side of the transversal. All right? This time, one of the angles is inside, the other is outside, but they are on the same side of the transversal. That gives you corresponding angles, all right? If you look back to your diagram, if you take angle 6, for example, it is definitely an inside angle. Also, if you take angle 2, it is an outside angle. But are they on the same side of the transversal? Yes, they are. So therefore, they are corresponding. Right? One is inside, the other is outside, and they are on the same side of the transversal. So therefore, they are corresponding angles. That was just an illustration. You see there that angle 2 and angle, angle 6 rather, and angle 2 are corresponding. Again, it's important to note that corresponding angles are always equal. So just like the alternate angles, corresponding angles also are equal. So if you know one, you have found the value for the other one because they are equal. Now let's try something. Apart from angle 6, and angle 2. Can we find any other angles here that are also corresponding? Now, if you look closely, you, could, you will see that angle 5 and angle 1, angle 5 is inside, angle 5 is outside, but they are on the same side. So therefore, they are corresponding and also equal. Again, if you look closely, Angle 4 is inside, angle 8 is outside, and they are on the same side of the transversal. So they two are corresponding and also equal. The same happens with angle 3 is an inside angle, angle 7 is an outside angle, and they are on the same side of the transversal. So therefore, they are corresponding angles, and they are also equal. If you observe clearly, look at angle 3 and angle 5, and look at, follow my hand, and tell me what letter do you see? I have this. That's a line. And I do this. Does that not look like an F? Yeah. So the corresponding angles are inside the F. Hmm? And the F, of course, can be torn in different directions, but you still have the F. Then we move on to co-interior angles. Say, these are two inside angles that are on the same side of the transversal. These are two inside angles that are on the same side of the transversal. 
So you can simply say inside, inside, same side. They are both inside and they are also on the same side. We call them co-interior angles. That is an example we have there. Angle 3 and angle 6. If you look at them closely, you can see that angle 3 is inside, angle 6 is also inside, and also they are on the same side of the transversal. So therefore they are co-interior. Now apart from angle 3 and angle 6, which other angles can you identify here as being co-interior? Clearly we can see angle 4 and angle 5, they are both inside and they are also on the same side of the transversal, so therefore they are co-interior. Now note that co-interior angles are supplementary. Remember we have dealt with supplementary angles. We know they are angles that add up to 180 degrees. So co-interior angles, unlike our previous angles, are not equal. They add up to 180 degrees. So in this case, if you add angle 3 and angle 6, your answer should be equal to 180 degrees. So always, if you know one of the angles, of course, you can easily find the other one because you know there are some is 180. So if you know one, just subtract that from 180 to get the other one. Okay? And what letter do you think you can find this co-interior angles in? If you look at this, if you follow my hand, and this angle and this angle, they seem to be inside a U that is torn to face on the east. All right? Of course, if you have had it in this form also, it comes to look like an N. If this line and this line are parallel, therefore this would be co-interior to that angle, okay? So co-interior angles are not equal. Instead, they are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. And then we have what we call the vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. When two straight lines intersect, that means when two straight lines meet each other or they cross each other, the two angles opposite the meeting point. And remember, the point where two lines meet is called the vertex, all right? So the point or you know, the angles opposite the vertex are called vertically opposite angles, all right? Now let's see an example. If you have this straight line and you have this other straight line, you can clearly see they meet at this point. So that's their meeting point and that is their vertex. So the angle is opposite that vertex. Like you know, there is an angle here and there is also another angle here. And those two angles are opposite each other. So we call them vertically opposite angles, all right? Likewise, if you look at this other angle here, and this angle right here, they are also opposite each other. They are opposite this, and they are at the same point, and they are opposite each other. So therefore, they are also vertically opposite, all right? Now, if you go back to our diagram, can we identify which angles here are vertically opposite? And you can easily see one and three would be vertically opposite. Two and four would be vertically opposite. Five and seven would be vertically opposite. And six and eight also would be vertically opposite, all right? And what do you observe? What does it look like? You have a line, you have another line, they cross. That definitely looks like a letter X. Right? So you use the letter X to identify vertically opposite angles. Again, that is just an illustration 
You can see their angle A and angle B are vertically opposite. Likewise, angle C and angle D are also vertically opposite. And note that vertically opposite angles are equal, which means angle A is equal to angle B and angle C is also equal to angle D. Why? Because they are vertically opposite. Right, so we have a diagram here. And it says in the figure above, list down 16 pairs of corresponding angles. All right? We have a diagram and we are asked to list down 16 pairs of corresponding angles. Uh, let's have the diagram here. Makes it easier. So it is from this diagram that we are supposed to list down 16 pairs of corresponding angles. Now that should not scare you. The number 16 appears big, but then I'm sure you can definitely get them from here. First, we know with corresponding angles is one of the angles is inside, the other is outside, but they are on the same side of the transversal. So to make life easy for yourself here, you can first focus on the vertical parallel lines and get all your corresponding angles from there and then come and focus on the horizontal parallel lines and then you will get the rest of your corresponding angles. Now if we focus on the vertical parallel lines there we then therefore this A, B and C, D the horizontal parallel lines will now serve as transversals because they are cutting across the vertical parallel lines. So in that case, how which angles are inside? Angle C, angle L, angle F, and angle M are inside angles, all right? Because they are found between these two parallel lines. Actually, we are focusing on the horizontal parallel lines, all right? So those four angles are found between the two horizontal parallel lines. So those are the inside angles. And then AB, IG, HG, P, and O are the outside angles. So now we can start to list. What's our first pair? We are looking for an inside angle and an outside angle that are on the same side. And then I can see E is inside, A is outside. So A and E are corresponding because one is inside and the other is outside, but they are on the same side. So I can say A and E. That's one pair. So we have 15 more pairs to go. Number two, if we just move to the next angle, angle F is inside, angle B is outside, but they are on the same side. So therefore, they also are corresponding. So I can have B and F. Angle three, or number three, so you have got two pairs, 14 more to go. Now let's start from up here now. This angle D is an inside angle. Angle H is an outside angle. And they are on the same side. So they also are corresponding. So we can say D and H. So we've got three pairs now. We go to number four. Again, if you now take C, it's an inside angle. G is an outside angle, and they are on the same side, so they two are corresponding. So you get C and G. Number five, of course, we are done with here because you cannot get any other angles that are corresponding here. So let's move to the other side. There also, if you look closely, 
M is inside, I is outside, and they are on the same side of the transversal. So, M and I are corresponding. Likewise, N is inside, J is outside, but they are on the same side, so they also are corresponding. So number six will be J and N. So you have got six pairs. Then continuing to the seventh, take angle L is inside, angle P is outside, and they are on the same side. So they also are corresponding. So L and P are corresponding. Angle 8, or pair 8 rather. Angle K is inside. Angle O is outside, but they are on the same side. So they two are corresponding. K and O corresponding. Right, we are halfway there. We have got 8 and we are looking for 16. If we now look at vertically, using those two parallel lines, you will see between these two parallel lines, you have angle C, L, F and M still inside, and J, K, N, O, D, E outside. So we can use those again to get our remaining sets of corresponding angles. Like if you take angle C is inside, angle K is outside, but they are on the same side. So therefore, C and K are also corresponding. Number 10, if you come down here, angle F is inside, angle N is outside, they are on the same side, so they two are corresponding. F and N corresponding. Then we move along. Still, if you go back to this L, it's inside. D is outside, but they are on the same side. So they also are corresponding. So we can say number 11, D and L. Number 12, if we check, M is inside, F, look at M is inside rather, E is outside, and they are on the same side, so they also are corresponding. So you can say M and E. Okay? Now we go to number 13. We are still looking for more. What we can find also is if you take angle, we have got DL already, let's avoid repetition. We have got DL, we have got E and M, yes. We have got F and N, yeah. We have got C and K, we have got C and K somewhere. Okay, let's see what's missing. We have got four more to, do, to go. Now, also, if we take angle G very carefully, it's an inside angle, and we take angle O outside, and they are on the same side, so they also have corresponding G and O. Okay? Then, still, you take angle P, it's an inside angle. Angle H is also, or it's an outside angle, but they are on the same side, all right? So therefore, they also are corresponding. So you can say 14, uh, that is angle H and angle P. H and P. So now we are at number 14. If you keep going, Number 15, if we take angle I up here, it's inside. Angle A is outside. 
but they are on the same side of the transversal, so they also are corresponding. So we can say A and I. That leaves us with only one angle now, all right? And if we look very carefully, angle B is inside, angle J is outside, but they are on the same side of the transversal. So they also are corresponding. So that is angle B and angle J. There. And we were asked to list 16 pairs of corresponding angles, and we have been able to do just that. Okay? And with that, we come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you have been learning something from the lesson. Till we meet again, goodbye. COVID-19, bu ken des ganaw. Coronavirus, jangoro bopam la bo khamne, dina joche febar si anami nirok febaru denna, wala soj. COVID-19, moi jangoro buñ mujye jota yek, bo khamne, coronavirus mokoy joche. Sisu nyu khech ak jangoro ji, warnen di yatal kholi, te di dimbalante. Jangoro ji di COVID-19, khamut khajak sen, gor wala jigen, mak wala ndaw, dekuway, dine, wala khet. Kon warut nyu iran nya late, ci kepo kum manti don. Ragal ranyale yi, beci khaja lo, munna tak sak benit ki nga khamne amna jangoro ji, wala sak tuki kati, nyi nobo mandar ga yun mana gis chisen bopo. Tadi na mana tak sak, ben banya dem sakun dembalu wergu yaram. Li nak, di na tak be, nyu bari man che febar. Chikok yu bari, ni ti nga khamne nyoy tuki, mba, tokhu, wala sak dem jangi. Amne nyi solo lol, chi jem kanamu gok yoyule. Akit sak, khech jangoro ji di COVID-19. Kon nak, nyepa wara beysen war. Chi khech ranyale yi, ak dak bep khibar bu weradi. Bu jublu chi nit nyinga khamne, nyung chi yoni tuki. War nyin di bayi khel. Kepo kunyu jage, te yit nyulen di dimbali. Nyin faral di fatele wante di rakha sunyi loho. Moitu di lal sunyi bot, bakan ba gemen. Nyi mur sunyi kharkanami sunyi tisoli mba sakat. Nyi sori mbolo, bunji jage wante, te tok ci keur gi buñ fébaré gambia nak lañ xamé di smiling coast ndax té suñ xol ya yaatu kon nak nañ gëna yaatal suñ xol yi ci xex non bu ñepp boole bañ muy covid 19 kon xex gi xexu ñepp la so ci bëggé am lu la gëna lër mba nga sétlu ay mandarga yu la jaxal jokol ak 1025Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Albaka, 
forest de biro gambia tonkon na lo mbaria bere ka berin ko ena fo kato bari si kodo ki no kato ni fo bolon la be 56 branches mo la soda gambia ja ha ka gambia kono ani gambia e bantala bankol ngof kodo ki a bere kodo si fa si fa fo falindiro fo nyadi lafta mem men na kodi to koto ni kodi maro jannam number one di nyonta andum fanan nata anoda enterprise sotale wala wala min di ko domorol fanan kol fanan be firale de dadi manen domorol di fanan be teat gambia dawda yalo ma fum fa kendol sotale di ha e wo moy ha a felen da ma ka ni ma lafta nyelan kendol e binaji yalo e bukani la ko la baraka ba yalo del chosa no lo baraka Gamtel G Fiber now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured and accessible to homes, businesses and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. ya <laughs> Badde lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fendi lo dunia kono domoro betama ni lom international oti wada number 1 amanke ba domo la janda man e sa domo jang is atari ya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandi e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant ndaba na janna mu yat ni manje do rombi jang aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction